All right, so before I show you how you can host multiple websites on the same server, let me mention some of the pros and cons when doing so. Okay, so the first advantage obviously is the cost. So if you go on the Varpex website, as you can see, we have Cloud Web Hosting. And right here, we have all the different plans. So we have iron, bronze, silver, and gold. So what's the difference? Well, basically with iron and bronze, you can only host one website on those servers, okay? Whereas this one here, silver and gold, you can host 100 here, and this one is fully unlimited. So clearly you would need 10 of those hosting plans to host 10 different websites. So if you multiply this cost by 10, obviously the price goes up. The cost is increasingly more expensive. Whereas if you get one of these like this one is 330 per month and you can host up to 100 websites. So clearly the cost here will be spread all across at a much lower rate. Now, another benefit to hosting multiple websites on the same server is a decrease in the amount of admin work that will be required. So back to our example here, if you were to host 10 websites across different servers, you would have 10 monthly invoices to pay, 10 servers you have to keep up to date, and also 10 sites to set up backups for. Okay, so now let's have a look at the cons. So the first disadvantage to hosting website in this way is that your web server's resources will be shared across all the other sites, okay? So let's say if you have different websites hosted on the same server, well, basically they share the same processor, the same memory, and the same hard drive. So if one of those websites is resource hungry, it will obviously impact all the other sites' performances as well. And also if you need to provide FTP access to one of those accounts, make sure that your hosting providers provide granular access control and permission. So this way each website will have its own FTP access, because clearly you don't want the owner of site, let's say number seven, to have access to all the other websites and vice versa. Okay, so now let me show you how you can host multiple websites using cloud hosting from Verpex. So again, we have different plans here. So you should start at least with silver or gold because these are the only ones you can have multiple websites. Again, these are only for one website and one website, okay? So feel free to register with any of those plans and now we can log in, okay? So let me show you how this works. So I personally have the silver plan. So all you have to do is basically log in. There you go. So this is your main dashboard. And as you can see on top, you have those tabs here, okay? So what we need to do now is to go to product and services. As you can see, we have the silver plan here. So click on this and there you go. As you can see, we have a complete overview of our plan. So this is a silver plan and we went with a three year plan uh, triangle here. As you can see, 179.64, which is an extremely good value, as you can understand. Now we need to access our control panel. So there are two ways to do so. You can see you have this button here and also the one here on top. So either way is fine, you know, click on either of those. And then if it's your first time accessing your cPanel, you'll be presented with this screen here. So you can create a website using WordPress, restore backup or explore the account. Uh, it's really up to you what you want to do, but we're just going to skip for now. Okay, I'm just going to click this button here and welcome to your control panel. So cPanel stands for, for control panel. And basically these are all the tools to take care of your hosting. Everything start to finish. Okay, so emails, files, database, your domain name, analytics, security, software, advanced, etc., etc. So as you can see, it's a very comprehensive solution, control panel, and it's also the most popular one when it comes to hosting websites. Now, let me show you how you can host multiple websites on your control panel. So scroll down the page here and find the section where it says domains and click on this link here, domains. And right here, you have your main domain. So this is basically the domain name that you used at registration when you created your account with Varpex that's linked to your main plan, okay? So now we're gonna create a new domain. So right here, click on this button and let's type the domain name. So maybe Varpex sample site one dot com okay so obviously this would be an actual domain name that you registered and now right here very important step make sure that you untick this box here because otherwise you'll be sharing all your files with everyone else on the server and you definitely don't want that okay so after this click submit there you go as you can see it's creating the domain name and now it's done already so we can dismiss this message and you know what? Let's do the same thing once more. Okay, so I'll create a new domain and we're going to call this one Vorpex Sample Site2.com. Okay, there you go. Again, untick this box and then submit. So it's being created and that's done already. So now we're in an extra two different accounts on our server. 
Now, let me show you how I can install WordPress on any of those accounts, okay? So for this, we go by the side, click on WP Toolkit. Okay, and from here, we're gonna click on Install WordPress. And now make sure you select HTTPS here to activate the SSL certificate and select the domain name where you want to install it. So for instance, Verp Example Site 1. Make sure that the installation directory is empty. And right here, you put your site name. And right here, you can select your plugin and theme set. So there's none set by default, but you can have maybe the WordPress Essential e-commerce pack if you want WooCommerce and so on and so on. So let's go maybe ahead with this one, WordPress Essentials, then select your language and the version. So right here, we have the WordPress administrator credentials. So it will create a username and then you can reveal the password. And what I would do is probably keep this somewhere safe, okay? Because you need this to log in into your WordPress admin. So right there, we have database and automatic update settings. I would leave exactly everything the way it is by default. And all we have to do now is basically click install. And there you go, as you can see, now it is installed. So you can also add a few plugins if you wanted to. I'm just gonna dismiss this for now, okay? It's just to show you how it works. And you can also run a few updates if you wanted to. But basically the principle here is very simple. You can create your domain name and then install WordPress on it. And now that your website is installed, you can go back to your tools and you can create an email account or several email accounts for that domain name. You can access all your files here and uh, modify your database. Basically, all these different sections here are linked to your domain name, okay? So this is how you can create different accounts and host them on the same server. Okay, so maybe now you'd like to find out if you need a managed hosting or not. If this is the case, we'll leave a video right here.